corralled by the Ducks. Now just sent over nicely by Klein. Preston once again for the Spartans. Well defended a first time, but she'll get the kill and it's tied up at one. Yeah, an interesting first point. Taylor Preston has had an absolutely resurgent back half of the season, especially during this Michigan State winning streak. She's been awesome and has proven her worth hitting from that right side and showing off different types of shots. And here's Preston on the service now. Defended nicely by Oregon, sent down, and there's a kill for the Ducks. What a quick offensive set for Ofebu. I mean, for being the 2022 All-American Honorable Mention, as well as the All-Region Pacific South team, Big West two times during her career at UC Irvine, red-shirted a year ago just to create depth for Oregon. Now they have it. And that's a nice serve that time. It'll be an ace. That was Michelle Owabeda, Owabede, excuse me, on the serve. Or no, excuse, it was not, it was Isabel Patterson. Kyle, here's something you're gonna love. Isabel Patterson from Jesuit High School. Nick Abel is a right-handed pitcher from Jesuit who just was signed to the Phillies 40-man roster. How about that? Finding a way to tie in baseball as she picks up the service error to go along with the ace. It's three, two ducks now. It'll be Yosia serving for Michigan State here. So Wayne over the net, dug nicely that time by Morris, sent back over by the Ducks. That one's dug out by Preston. Now sent over by Preston, blocked nicely, kept alive. Ducks send it back over. Nice job by Yosia. Here's Anderson on a soft hit. Nice play to corral it there. Sent back over once again. It's Collier, well defended by Preston. Spartans back again, Staniszewska, and that one's gonna be a point for MSU looks like maybe a net violation, Brian. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. That's one that's just won right up front by Staniszewska. I love what I'm seeing from her, especially lately. Oregon's block tested. That time pressed it down well, but Michigan State still comes out with one there. Great job by the sophomore from Warsaw, Poland. Sent over by Yosia, corralled nicely by Owabede, and now sent over by Mimi Collier. Yosia dug it out that time nicely. Oh, Anderson with the kill, 4-3 Michigan State now. That's just tremendous. High pointing that ball, finding the back line. Morris slid over to corral that one, but whenever you have an arm swing right off the right side with Akasha Anderson, it's hard to catch up to. Evidence of that right there. Nice job that time. Great set piece by the Spartans. Yosia to serve again. She gets it over, it's dug that time. Then that one's gonna be sent over by the Ducks and now they pick up a point and then the scoring run tied up at four here. Yeah, that was quick. That was really quick. I like what Michigan State is doing, asserting their will, making sure that they're testing out Mackenzie Morris. So far, she's been up to the task. There's Mimi Collier on the serve this time for the Ducks. She sends it over, dug out nicely by Staniszewska. Now she's gonna send it back over and that one's dug nicely there by Morris to keep it alive. Good rally developing here. Akasha Anderson with the kill attempt, and she's got her second of the night. It's 5-4 Spartans now here in the first set. Gosh, a lot to say about that one, Kyle. I've enjoyed seeing Mimi Collier go after it for this time. She now has six attacks compared to just one total attack for the remainder of the team. That is an unbelievable workload, exactly what you would anticipate. She might have 50 swings here today. Mizinga checking in for the Spartan. She serves it over, and now it's gonna be dug out by Preston, but it's not gonna be enough for the dig. It goes out of bounds, and it's tied back up at five here in the first set. Be a serve here for the Oregon Ducks. Maya De La Reyes with the service here. Sent over by Kulig, well defended there, back on the Spartan side. Now Staniszewska, and that one's gonna get over for the point. Nice kill that time by Staniszewska, and it's 6-5 MSU. It was an interesting move there, Kyle, to go with Maya De Los Reyes, who has played in 81 sets, but is specifically a serving sub. That's exactly what you see. She just alternated back and forth with Oni Ofebu, <coughs> They went to the same high school in Long Beach, California. See that 
Right there, knowing each other's playing styles, right back into a rally here for the Spartans. Preston sends this one over, and she picks up a kill of her own. So the Spartans off to a good start here. After going down 3-1, they're on a little run. They're up 7-5. Michigan State hitting 545, and it's balanced. It's Staniszewska, Anderson, and Preston, each with two kills to this point. Staniszewska with the service. Well played by Oregon. They send it back over. Nice job by Osea on the dig. That one hit over that time, and that's going to be out of bounds. It looked like Colby Neal just missing off to the side, and now a 7-2 run for the Spartans, and they're up 8-5. Staniszewska once again with the service for MSU. And this time she errors. Service error for Staniszewska, 8-6 MSU now. And Kyle, she lets that one fly, no question about it. That though, now the second service error for Michigan State to this point, still very early, but letting it rip is Staniszewska. And Kristen Klein with a service ace that time. So two quick points for the Ducks here and it's 8-7 Michigan State in the first set. Oregon of course ranked 13th in the country coming into this matchup. Spartans doing a nice job holding their own here in the early going. Klein is such an interesting case, playing behind Hannah Pukis, who now plays for the Orlando Valkyries in the pro game. Preston, the kill attempt, nicely dug out that time by Collier. Now she sends it over. Good job there by the Spartans, keeping it alive. And another point that time for Staniszewska. She gets another kill and it's 9-7 Sparty. Yeah, for the Spartans, it has been finding that end line right there. Staniszewska back row attack outside of the 10 foot line. Keep going back to it. Be content with what you have. Zuzana Kulig on the serve for MSU. Nice job by Oabede to get that out. Now it's sent over that time and a great job by Noemi Glover on the kill. 9-8 Spartans. That was one of the more athletic swings that we've seen so far and What's funny about that one, Kyle, was Zuza, Zuza Kulig was just left on an island there trying to overhand pass that one. Incredibly difficult. Oabede sends this one over. The Spartans ready to return. It's corralled that time by the Ducks. Sent over once again. Spartans keeping it alive. Preston sends it over. A nice dig by Oabede. Now Collier blocked by the Spartans. Is Duzuma in front, but It'll be out of bounds and a point for the Ducks and it's 9-9 here in the first set. Really great up during that possession from Klein. And just look at the way she leans back, hits high hands, fires it off the block. Well done from that space on the floor from Collier. And the Oabede, this one sails out of bounds far to the left and Michigan State takes the lead right back there. Julia Bishop checks back in for Michigan State. Take a look, folks, at how deep Julia Bishop serves from. She's about off of the Terraflex right there and fires another one deep. Sent over by Oregon. Yosia with the dig, keeping it alive for Anderson. A finesse hit, corralled nicely, and Yosia saves it for MSU. Bishop trying to get it to Staniszewska in an error that time, and the Ducks have tied it back up at 10 here. That was a tough scenario. You could see that one fluctuating, moving back and forth. Bishop taking ownership and accountability, accepting that that was on her. Very difficult one. 10-10 here in the first set. It's gonna be Mackenzie Morris here with the service. Nice job that time by the Spartans singing it out. Now Akasha Anderson goes for the kill and it's well defended that time. That was all over that one. It was Noemi Glover with the block. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Kyle. That was a big time, big time block. It's a great job as the Ducks have the lead here, 11 to 10, sent over. It's well defended there. Rally starting to develop. Yosia gets it up to Bishop. Bishop sent that one to Duzuma. Now that one's sent back and it's in. Great job by the Ducks and now, now they're starting to climb back into this first set here. They have a 12-10 lead. Yeah, and that's the second one from Noemi Glover. I really enjoy the way that she is attacking it, high pointing that ball and finding a way to terminate. Definitely 
it seems like the first option will be Collier with nine swings, but then coming behind, we're seeing that second option of Glover. Absolutely two kills for Glover here in the early going. Now Akasha Anderson gets a kill of her own, stopping that Ducks run. It's 12-11 Oregon here now. And that's exactly what the Spartans need is to get Anderson going. That's her third kill, Brian. Yes, and hitting now at 333, I like what you said about stopping the run. That's a great time and place for momentum. Sent over nicely this time by Preston, well corralled. That one's gonna be another kill for the Ducks. Beautiful job by Noemi Glover once again, and she's starting to heat up. Heat up is right, and you know, we talk about heating up. She, being from Rancho Santa Fe, California, led Cathedral Catholic in 2022 to a 42-0 season on the back of her. Unbelievable high school experience. She had 193 kills coming into this game for the Ducks. Now Staniszewska sends this one out of bounds on the kill attempt. Another point for Oregon, it's 14-11 here. You don't like seeing that from Staniszewska who has been playing close to air free in recent history. Served that time by Patterson, corralled nicely by the Spartans. Here's Akasha Anderson on a kill attempt, and it's another nice block in front for Oregon. Looked like Mil Mimi Collier got in there and made the play, and now a timeout for the Spartans here. 15 to 11, Oregon. And it seemed like the Spartans were getting off to a pretty solid start in this one, but Oregon's starting to crawl back a little bit here now. You're certainly right. And the one thing I want to take a notice of is Oregon is attributed for scoring 2.96 blocks per set. They're at two to this point. Expect them to tack on another at least one before the end. Center, as you can see, Oregon has a 15-11 lead here in set number one between the Ducks and the Spartans. Isabel Patterson will be serving for Oregon as we return to action. Here in what's been a back and forth action packed first set, Brian. Yeah, Patterson, another one of those. Portland, Oregon, 14 sets played, 14 digs. Service is definitely one of her strengths. Staniszewska and that one's out of bounds. Another point for the Ducks. So they're really starting to come away with it here in the first set now. It's gonna be another serve here for Patterson. Dig by Stanis Staniszewska now. After the pass from Bishop, it's Anderson. Corralled nicely by the Ducks and sent back over by Morris. Bishop over to Staniszewska once again. It's kept alive by Oregon. Mimi Collier, that one's saved somehow there by Duzuma. The Ducks still have it alive. Great play by Yosia now. Bishop, Anderson out of bounds. Another point for Oregon. There, uh, excuse me, it looks like that one was a deflection. It'll be a point for the Spartans. 16-12 now. Get another look at this one, Brian. Yeah, that's a tough one to take to the face there from Collier on that outside pin. And uh, man, it just got tied up, as simple as that. But I really like the way that Chris Klein has run the offense. So far, it's 25.3% on the year of the offense through the middle. Today, we're seeing a little bit of that, but it's being spread out from pin to pin which I've appreciated to this point. Looks like we're getting review here from the officials just to make sure they got the call right on that last point. The call confirmed, point Michigan State, so 16-12 Oregon here. Serving for the Spartans, it's gonna be Yosia. Yosia, it's across to Collier, kill attempt, and it's gonna be a point for the Ducks there unable to defend Anderson and Bishop on that side. Yeah, that was, I look at that, Kyle, as like an outlet pass in basketball. You're on one end at the right pin, you swing it over to the left, and all you have is Mimi Collier ready and set to go. That was amazing. You see why she is top 10 in program history and kills, and now Akasha comes back for the Spartans. They needed that one, 17-13. Yeah, it's timely. There's no doubt about that. And Michigan State, you're continuing to see the platooning of the setters here to this point. 
It's seven to two, the assisting numbers in favor of Bishop. Look for Myzinga to get more active here. Corral nicely by Oregon and a quick play by Stanishevska to put it back down for MSU. She's got four kills now and the Spartans down three here in the first set. Man, I like that. It's simple, just out jump. That's all you gotta do. Here comes Myzinga once more. And Rachel Myzinga with another serve here. Nice play by Oregon and a nice dig by Osea. Back to the duck side, another kill attempt there. And this one's gonna be successful. That one's gonna be a kill for Michelle Owobede. Yeah, Owobede with a vicious, vicious swing. 20 kills against Northwestern and 17 kills against USC in the last week. Came over from UC Santa Barbara, another one of the Big West players who made a difference. 2023 Big West Player of the Year. And she's a versatile player for them. She's got 2.68 kills per set but to go along with 2.45 digs per set. She's getting it done on both sides. Rally starting to form here between the Ducks and the Spartans and Mimi Collier ends it all too quickly. Big time kill there, 19-14 Oregon. And there it is, Kyle. That's one of those where running the middle, very simply put, Michigan State had no answer in that one. No blockers set up. Collier at 12 swings, no errors through this first set so far. And take a look here. There's a timeout for the Spartans on the floor. They trail by five here. We'll take a look at the head coach for the Ducks, Matt Ulmer, in his eighth season. We had the opportunity to talk to him a little bit. And so far, they've been exactly that, through the transfer portal, through who they are signing. I've been really excited with their effort now that they've jumped into the Big Ten. Absolutely, and now we'll take a look at Coach Leah Johnson in her third season with the Spartans, and maybe not off to the off to the the record start that you wanted so far this season. They started off one and twelve in the Big Ten, but they're starting to turn things around lately. No, you're playing remarkably well compared to where you were a matter of weeks ago. In fact, I truly believe that one of the more complete matches that we saw was in the sweep in Iowa City that was just very recent for this Michigan State club. It's going well right now. And Mayo De La Rea sends it over as we're back into play here. Leah Moore sending that one over. Good job by Moore there. She gets her first kill of the night and the Spartans cut the lead down to four here now in the first set. Yeah, this is an interesting one. I think we can expect Kyle to see more of a Leah Moore and it's because you will be competing with Michelle Owobede in that side right there. Staniszewska sends it over, awkwardly played by the Ducks, but they're able to corral it and get it across. Now Juliana Kulig with the big time kill. Back to back big points for MSU and they're down three here. Kulig, just awesome. And they're hanging around with this Oregon team. That was one of the points that Coach Ulmer had mentioned was can Oregon sustain blows, hang in there like a prize fighter and rise from the ashes? Staniszewska sends this up across. Nice play by Owobeda. Owobeda now sends it over and a block. Once again, it's Kulig with the point for the Spartans, 19-17. So it's interesting, Kyle. We haven't seen another block from the point where we called it out. Two for Oregon. Now it's one for Michigan State. And to solidify, now a three to nothing scoring run back to two. This one sent over, and it is going to be a service ace with a little bit of luck. Staniszewska, 19-18, and now a timeout for the Ducks. Kyle, it is so funny how numbers work out sometimes. We just saw Michigan State bring it back to within one in the blocking category. On the ensuing play, they do the same here in service aces. Two play here. Rally going on for Owobede, nicely done by Osea to keep it alive. Staniszewska sends it over and a big time point for the Spartans. A 5-0 scoring run and the crowd's starting to get into it here at the Breslin, it's 19-19. Wow, wow, I mean, what a competition here between these two that we're seeing early and often. I love the fact that Staniszewska has a couple of errors, that doesn't matter, let's just get back to what we know. Staniszewska does a nice job there. Mimi Collier in the middle, nicely done by Yosia, keeping it alive. Akasha Anderson now for the Spartans, it's dug out. 
Back over to Oabede. Rally developing here. Preston saved by the Ducks. Oabede once again. And that one's kept alive by Staniszewska. Back to Preston, and that's a point for the Spartans. Six in a row, it's 20 to 19. They retake the lead. And Preston has not aired yet. Three kills, seven attempts. I like the way she's going. That was just fractionally off of being an issue with her getting tied up under the net, but she finds a way, bodily control, hangs back on it. Staniszewska sends this one across. Oabede tried to get that one across to Klein and it works per to perfection. So a quick point for the Ducks, it's 20 to 20. Yeah, that's such an interesting threshold when you get to that 20 point mark in any set, but particularly this first one that matters so much. We talked about it earlier. Oregon has won the first set in a majority of their games. They have a majority of wins. As this time, it's gonna be a service ace for Klein. Staniszewska couldn't handle it. She comes up with the air. Kyle, just to finish up that point there, I wanted to give you that space to run. Oregon Michigan lost State. the, or I'm sorry, won the opening set against USC, lost the match. It was the first time of the year that that had happened. Uh, particularly, I, I took note, as we're now seeing, yeah. that Oregon and Michigan State have played three times now, split those. But Coach Matt Ulmer, he was so willing to talk about the fantasy matchup that happened in the conference leading to the growth of volleyball, like this one here, an intercontinental rivalry that could become something as both programs continue to move. Absolutely. The idea of new rivalries and realignment so prevalent in this age of NIL and college athletics and the Spartans looking to continue the trend of the home team winning all the games in this series history. Trailing 21-20 right now in the first set. It's gonna be Kristen Klein with the serve for the Ducks. Staniszewska keeps it up. Yosia now over to Preston. Preston, nicely played by Collier to keep it alive. And that one is, that's gonna be a net violation for the Spartans. It'll be a point for Oregon. Yeah, that's just one that, shoot man, to get down in Michigan State's case, two at this point with Kristen Klein now serving. She's one of those that has 15 aces, 33 errors. She serves uber aggressively. Right into the game, they test out Hold'em and she defends it, gets it over to Preston who gets the big kill for the Spartans. She gets her fourth of the game. It's 22-21 Ducks now. Yeah, Preston working outstandingly and Whenever you start the offense with Taylor Holdem, believe in it. You have to. Taylor Holdem can pass out of the back row as well as anyone in this conference. Susanna Kulig now with the serve for Sparty. Nicely dug out by Collier. Collier gets it over to Oabede. Nice job by Kulig. Sent over by Duzema. Collier keeps it alive. Oabede once again, and this time she picks up the kill. Big point for the Ducks. It's 23-21 here now in the first set. No, that was a close one. That really was. And Oregon just continues to work it around. I have loved watching Michelle Oabede to this point. And their ball movement has been impressive. And now Oabede comes up with the service ace. The Spartans unable to corral that one and it sets up set point here. So the Ducks, they're going down 20 to 19 in the set. Now lead 24-21 off the back of that 5-1 run and they have a chance to end it right here. Nicely defended by Hold'em. Preston trying to send it over and that one's going to be out of bounds and it will be a point for Oregon and they'll take the first set. So a 25 to 21 advantage in the first set for the Ducks. And they come away with that all important first set victory, Brian. It's been a really, really smooth offensive start for both. Onio Faber will not be on the court to start this second set and she only had one kill in that first probably perhaps expected a little bit more effectiveness. She did pick up two blocks, but Glover, Collier, Oabede have done a nice job cleaning up offensively for Oregon and they pick up the win in that first set. And so now serving, it will be Michelle Oabede for the Ducks as they'll start off on the serve. Yeah, 
the absence of Ofebu is an interesting one. Zero errors against Minnesota, then six against Northwestern, and six against USC. A good start for the Spartans now. It's a service error for Oabeta as she sends that one high. It's gonna be Preston now in service for Michigan State. Taylor Preston sends this one over. Nicely played by Oabete. They're gonna keep this one alive. Collier sends it across. Preston to Bishop now. Duzuma sends it over for the Spartans. Back to Collier. Collier, nice save there by Bishop. Spartans looking to send it back over. A nice block. Now another attempt. It's staying in front of the net. And finally, Collier on the third attempt sends it down and ties the set up at 1-1. Wow, man. Wow. You know what I'm thinking about? I'm thinking about the Long Beach, California connection that we see all over this game. Mimi Collier's from Lincoln, California, but her mother, Nicole, was an All-American for Long Beach State. The NCAA hitting percentage leader in 1997 hit 428. Akasha, and she's blocked that time by Collier and Ofebu there defensively. Nice job out in front by the Ducks. It's great to see Kyle Onio Febu back in this game here. Mimi Collier though, 58 block assists and now 59, but seven blocks solo. And there an error for the Spartans. Another point for the Ducks. Looked like a miss hit by Julia Bishop. So three to one Oregon. They're on a quick little 3-0 scoring run here early on in set number two. Mackenzie Morris sends this one across and that one sails. And so the Spartans pick up their second set on as many service errors for the Ducks here in set number two. For Michigan State fans out there, they will be largely unfamiliar with Mackenzie Morris, who was 2023 All Big 12 second team at Kansas State. 1,700 career digs at Kansas State. Led the Big 12 last season. Neilani Yosia serving now for the Spartans, played nicely by Oregon, sent over, and it's gonna be a point for the Spartans as Noemi Glover just sent that one a little high, and it's 3-3. Yosia will serve once again here for Michigan State. Sends it over, Oabete gets it up. One's hit by Morris for Collier. Collier, and that one's blocked nicely in front. That's Susanna Coolidge that time. And the Spartans with a 3-0 run of their own to answer back. That was well done. The heaviness of the effort from Collier, I feel, starting to become predictable. Michigan State had a chance to get in front of that one with a tandem block. 17 swings from Collier here. Yosia sends this one over playing it to Mimi Collier, and she leaves that one just short, and so now four straight points for MSU, and they're up five to three. That's another example where Oregon got out of system, Collier tries to go from even outside the court, beyond the 10 foot line, such a tough angle to score at. Absolutely, it's a tough position to put your attacker in. Collier leaving this one up, gets it across to Glover. Blocked initially in front and kept alive by the Spartans. Now sent over by Staniszewska and it's blocked but out of bounds and another point for Sparty, that's five in a row. Great, great, great usage of the block that time. Michigan State turned what we thought was a disadvantage into an advantage in that moment and a 5-0 scoring run, come on now. We've seen that a couple times from Michigan State in this game. They've done a nice job handling the ball right around in front of the net on initial block attempts as this one misplayed by Taylor Preston. It's gonna be a point for the Ducks. Five kills now for Glover. That was a huge swing and the continued pressure on Taylor Preston. That was the game plan for the Oregon Ducks. Can you find number seven in white? They have so far. She's been good at getting the ball up, but that was one that missed. Isabel Patterson sending this one across. Bishop leaving it for Anderson, going for the kill, and she's got it. Big time play by Akasha. That's her sixth kill, and it's seven for Spartans in the second set. Good answer, and Kyle, look at it this way. Both of these squads are hitting the equivalent hitting percentage, 227 apiece. Michigan State climbs over that with the recent kill to 250. That is an exemplary percentage to this point. 
And a nice serve there, and she'll get the ace. That's my Zynga, eight to four MSU, and they're on a little seven one run here in the second set. No, Kyle, it's as simple as this. Rachel Mizinga has been known to do some service runs. This one could very well be another one of those. Rachel Mizinga sending this one across and back to back service aces for number 18. Nine to four Michigan State here in set number two. Man, it's hard to believe Michigan State has continued to go with Mackenzie Morris. Now here's where the question becomes, how much do you miss Oregon's Daly McClellan? who's had 196 digs, impressive in the serve-receive game. Morris is equipped, but there's been big time pressure on her. Ab it would be nice to alternate with somebody like the senior McClellan. Absolutely, missing McClellan, the, defens the defensive specialist. The big time runs, how does Oregon come back? And we know that the Spartans are playing with confidence right now, as much confidence as they've really had all season. You know, we've talked about their struggles in the early going, but they are, 3-0 in their last three games, all against Big Ten opponents. Two of those, of course, coming on the road, and that last home win was against Michigan here at the Battle of the Breslin. So Rachel Mizinga will serve once again here after back-to-back -back service aces and a timeout. See if she can keep her hot streak going. What's sent in, corralled better by the Ducks now. And that one's sent in by Ofebu. And it's gonna work out perfectly for Oregon as they tried to send it back across, but the block is successful for the Ducks. No, that was just ridiculous. I mean, in terms of Oregon's blocking scheme, that's exactly what we imagined we would see. It's been two blocks from them early in the second set that matches their set one number. And Mimi Collier comes up with the service ace. The Spartans misplay it there. They thought that one was going to sail out, but perfectly served that time by Collier. Showing off her versatility. She's gonna serve again now for Oregon. Collier sends this one across and this one does sail too high. So an error to go with the ace and the Spartans take the four point lead back at 10-6. Yeah, Kyle, that's important. That I feel has been the, the narrative around the service position for Oregon today. Six aces, five errors, right on that one to one ratio. Staniszewska sends this one across. Collier back to the Spartan side. Well defended there. Trying to get that one in. It was Moore sent back across by the Ducks. How did that one stay alive? Rally still going. Oregon gets it across. Owebede, that one's saved. Mizinga gets it across to Preston. That one's up by Morris. Back over. And that's going to be the point for the Ducks. It's Ofebu. She's starting to come alive here now in this second set. And Kyle, let me tell you, it is about time for that to happen. Being that Oregon's still down three points, can she start to work herself into this offense? Maya De La Rea sends this one across. Nicely played by Preston. Mizinga back to Preston. Nice block in front by Colby Neal. Now back across for the Spartans. Klein back to Neal. Mizinga plays it nicely. Yosia across to Moore, and that one's going to be a point for Michigan State. Good usage of the block again, filling up the middle. Nicely done that time by the Spartans offensively. They have an 11-7 lead here in the second set. Taking the serve this time, it's going to be Zuzana Kulig once again. Kulig sends it over and that one's gonna stay in. So a beautiful service ace for Michigan State and they're up 12-7 in set number two. Kyle, this has been such a unique service game for both of these schools. Six aces for the Oregon Ducks, four for Michigan State lurking behind. But one thing we wanted to ask ourselves was who would win the serve and pass game? So far the jury's still out. Now a service error to back that service ace for Kulig. She'll check out Yosia back in. 12-8, Michigan State. We saw this in the first set. The Spartans had you know, a couple leads. They went on a few runs, but Oregon's runs were just longer and more effective, of course. See if they're able to pull one out here. This one's sent across. It was hit over by Duzuma and a nice save that time by Klein. Now. 
It's Owebede, and she's gonna come up with the kill. Great job by Michelle Owebede there. She continues to have an outstanding game. That's her fourth kill. Yeah, and you know what, Kyle? The hitting number would tell you otherwise, but for her usage and the displacement that she's put Michigan State into, getting them to move in the back row, it's been really efficient, more so than the number indicates. This one's sent over by Preston. Colby recovers it over to Klein. Now across, that's Glover. Glover, that one's kept alive by Mizinga. Sent across to Preston's side, and she hits it over and comes up with the kill. Maybe not exactly what the Spartans were going for there, but they'll take it, and it's 13-9 MSU in the second set. No, I agree with you. That was a weird one from Staniszewska going overhead with it, but finds a way to put it onto the hitter Preston, and man, all you have left to do is just put it down. Julia Bishop sends this one across to the Ducks' side. This one's gonna be hit hard by Glover, and a big swing results in the kill. Big time hit for Glover there. She stays hot. Her sixth kill, 13 to 10, Michigan State. No, it's really impressive. It's really impressive. She's hitting 455 to this moment. Owebede sends this one across. Bishop leaving this one for Preston. Blocked nicely by the Ducks, but the Spartans corral it. Now Duzuma sending this one over, and that one's going to be out of bounds. So back to back points for Oregon. Yeah, Duzuma there was looking for a block touch. Didn't get it. I like the idea of going with the shove shot over there to Oregon's side, trying to remedy the setter dump we've seen more and more as this game has worn on from Chris Klein. Oabete will serve again here for the Ducks. 13-11 Michigan State, second set. The Ducks took the first one, and that's going to be a service ace for Michelle Oabete, who continues to be effective offensively today. And a timeout now for the Spartans as the Ducks starting to chip away to this lead here in set number two. Last night, MSU picked up the win against Detroit Mercy. I believe the final was 101 to 44 here at the Breslin Center. Michigan State men's basketball team picked up a win here at the Brez two days ago. So the Spartans looking to make it three in a row here. So Owebede serves this one away, and we're back into action. Anderson sends this one across. It's played by Collier. Klein into the middle for Owebede, and once again, she sends it home, and it's 13-13 here in the second set. Yosia that time was moving closer to the middle of that back row line there, and it just went the other way right against the sideline. A long cross there. You may expect a shorter one in that opportunity. It went long, and it worked. Oabede sends this one across again. Yosia sends it over. Corralled by the Ducks. Now over to Glover. Glover with a big swing, and it's well defended by the Spartans. Staniszewska with the initial hit, and now the Spartans come away with it on the block attempt. Big point for them to retain the lead. It's 14-13. Yeah, great first contact there by Karolina Staniszewska for Michigan State. I loved the way that she sought out that ball found a way to overhand pass and put it right where it needed to be. Preston on the serve now for the Spartans and it's gonna be an ace. A little bit of miscommunication it looked like for Oregon there, but the Spartans will take it. They're up two once again. It's a bit of an awkward hit. Hit the top of the net before going across and Oregon just unable to recover. So once again, it'll be Preston after her first service ace of the day. Glover sending this one home. Big time kill there, point for Oregon. Yeah, Glover's vision has been immaculate today. Anytime that Michigan State gives up the middle, she finds it. Anytime that Michigan State gives up the sideline, it's there too. I've really appreciated the placement from Glover. And Glover's been great in that outside hitting position today. Now Akasha Anderson trying to do some damage of her own. Well defended that time, and Collier sending it down for Oregon. Nice job by Osea. Preston with the kill attempt, blocked by Oregon in front. Now Bishop across to Anderson, and that time it's blocked by Collier and Ofebu, and Oregon's tied it back up at 15. Yeah, big time block, big time block. And it's a situation where it becomes predictable. You saw Duzuma looking to rise and take that one in a solo blocking opportunity. The ball didn't get there, and now Oregon had a solo ready and waiting. Mackenzie Morris on the initial serve. It's back across to the Ducks' side. Sent down by Ofebu, well defended that time by Preston. 
Spartans send it back across. And that time it's gonna be a kill from Mimi Collier. Good job there by the Ducks and they've taken the lead back here in this second set. So many times Michigan State has been in a situation where the ball's off the net and you have an attack, but it's not necessarily a scoring attack. It's more of the essence of a free ball. That was the case that time and Oregon made them pay. And this time another error and a service ace for the Ducks. And so now they match the biggest lead they had in the second set. It was 3-1, now it's 17-15. And another timeout by Michigan State. Leah Johnson wants to talk it over with her squad. 17-55 and Jack Stager's <laughs> call on Flight 55 and the story that went behind that. Check out the Rec Room podcast <laughs> with Brian Rector, my color analyst for today. You know Brand who new podcast if you want to do a little self plug here right now. You know who else has been on that show is Oregon wrestling alum Chael Sonnen, who made a big time move to the UFC. He's somebody who speaks on a lot of things. That was a great show. Yeah. It was. You'll have to check it out if you want to hear more about Flight 55. And our good buddy Jack Steger as we're back to the action. Of course, nothing like a little Cohen Cars and Jeremy Fears to distract some Michigan State Spartans here. And that's going to be a point for the Ducks. Violation there, and they have their biggest lead of the second set. It's 18 15. I'm not sure exactly what we were talking about. Were we speaking on a volleyball game here? I, I lost my train of thought. But with that being said, we're back in here and Mackenzie Morris continuing to serve so well for Oregon. Mackenzie Morris, and you mentioned sending that one across and that's a big point for MSU. They needed it and they cut it back down to two here. As we get later and later in the set, we've seen Oregon be stronger, especially in the first set. Looking to continue that trend here in this one, it's a big serve for Yosia and the Spartans. They trail by two, it's 18 to 16. Sent over, it's corralled. Now back over to Collier and a great job in the outside hitting position. She sends it home and it's 19, 16 Oregon. Yeah, Oregon's passing has been great. I have been confused as to why it is that we haven't seen Nalani Yosia's top spin jump serve. She's certainly taken it down the miles per hour as we get a look at assisting leaders, Yosia not necessarily in the top couple of that one. Just look at Klein carrying the day, 16 of those. Absolutely, I mean, because that one's gonna be just high, so it'll be a point for the Ducks. Akasha Anderson with a bit of a miss hit, it's 20 to 16. Back to Klein, she's led the Ducks coming into this matchup with 853 assists on the season, and you now she's just off the ante with 17 already today after that hit, and that's another big block in front, but goes out of bounds and the Spartans pick up the point, so it's 20 to 17. A Little bit of back and forth action here now late in the second set. Yeah, Oregon's getting good looks through the middle defensively, they really are, but Michigan State has found a way to utilize that block to their advantage for much of today. Now Rachel Mizinga, who we saw get back-to-back -back service aces earlier in the set, but it's corralled this time by the Ducks. Collier sends it in. It's well defended. Staniszewska sends it across for the Spartans. Ducks have it back. Mimi Collier nicely sent it across and Yosia with a great dig. Now hold him for the Spartans and it's blocked in front. And it is Ofebu once again. We know that she is a great two-way defensive player and she showcased it once again right there. Yeah, I like the fact that Michigan State took it back to hold him with the back row attack. She was out in recent games, particularly in Iowa City, precautionary. She's back though, getting in rhythm. This one sent down nicely there by Oabete. Just came across to her side and she sends it home. It's 22-17 Ducks now and it's starting to come away from MSU here in the second set. Mimi Collier will serve for Oregon. We saw her pick up an ace and an error last time she was back there. Collier sends this one in. It's kept alive, now sent over. And it'll be a point for the Spartans. Aaliyah Moore coming up big there for MSU. That was an awesome serve from Collier, no doubt about it. Right against the sideline in tight, only about eight feet past the net line. I loved what I saw, but Moore handled it well. Platform control was good, and she transitioned from passing to attacking. And sent across by Staniszewska. Sent back down, and she digs it out. Great job. 
but Oabete once again out in front. She's been so dominant in that spot all night long. Oabete makes it 23 to 18 for Oregon. It'll be Della Reyes in for the serve. Sends it across, Staniszewska, Mizinga now to Kulig, and that's going to be another point for the Ducks. And so now it's set point 24-18 as they have gone on an extended run here in this second half, showing why they're number 13 in the country. Della Reyes looking to end it right here. It's kept alive by Staniszewska, Yosia to Preston. Back to Preston, kept alive by the Ducks. Mimi Collier with a kill attempt and she's got it. Mimi Collier ends a dominant second half of the second set for the Ducks and they take this one 25 to 18 and two nothing in two sets for the Ducks. No, Oregon, I mean, you know what they say, Kyle, birds of a feather, they flock together. Oregon has five blocks at this point, hitting 312, but look at this, siding out at 55%, winning back these points that go to Michigan State's way, they're turning it right back, and I love the effort that Oregon has had. They're sticking together. And as for Michigan State, they are senior, and so I was kind of disappointed when this injury happened, but like, it honestly put things into perspective as far as like, this is this is it. Like, I would just wanna go out with my team and just like kick some butt. Like, we are all, we all just like need to focus on like how good we are and like like physically as a group, like how just like talented we are, honestly. And we kind of need to take that and run with it. And so I think that'll be good for us for the rest of the season. And then speaking about the last part of the season, I want to know if the Ducks are going to fly the highest at the end of the year, how will that happen? Mm -hmm. Working on the little things every day, honestly. At practice, working on just like the little details that will carry us into games. Um, that'll kind of push, push us over the edge. Um, and so I think that'll kind of take us farther. And honestly, just saying that this is it. We have a little bit of time left together. Like, why not make the most of it? And so, yeah. Thank you so much for being with us. And now we're going right back to action. Oregon and Michigan State continuing on. Yeah, that was just a phenomenal moment earlier today. Something I'm very proud of. And we're back in action here, but it was just a really good one to take a look at earlier today. And I know how much you've been looking forward to this Oregon matchup being a Oregon man yourself, or Oregonian, is, is, that, the, is right. that the term? That's I, right. I remember you teaching me that a little while back, and right back in the action, as you mentioned, 1-1 one, one here in the third set, a service error and an ace to start, and now quickly it's Juliana Kulig, big time for the Spartans. Zuzana coming down with that one, it's 2-1 to one MSU here. Yeah, if Zuza can get heated up, that would be a big lift for Michigan State as they're looking to find a way. Absolutely, looking to find a way. Sent across, and a nice time, nice dig that time by Stan Cheska. And now Glover, and that one's gonna be out of bounds. Or excuse me, deflected that time by the Spartans out of bounds, so it'll be a point for Oregon, 2-2. Two -two. Stan Cheska had a nice dig that time to keep the rally alive, but all for naught. For Oregon, it'll be interesting to see how aggressive they are in this third set, already up 2-0. Some great insight from Coach Ulmer in his interview with Jack Stagers. Preston sends this one across, handled nicely by the Ducks. Sent across a play of their own by Ofebu. Nice job there, keeping it alive by Yosia. Now Staniszewska. Back to Yosia, who sends it across. A rally developing here between these two squads, and that one's going to be sent over and done. Ofebu, with another big point. It's three to two Ducks. Yeah, you saw the key points there accessible for Oregon and how they were running their offense. Klein doing a great job facilitating. You saw a few attacks there from Collier and closing it out. Ofebu. It's going to be a serve for Isabel Patterson, kept alive by Kulig, and a miscommunication that time between Mizinga and Kulig, and so a point for the Ducks, and they're up four to two now. It'll be interesting to see how quick 
Leah Johnson pulls the plug and calls a timeout, depending on how quickly Oregon can build up a lead here in this third set. We saw it go back and forth in the first two, but Oregon eventually able to come away. We're clearly the better team in the second half of each of those sets. It's nicely kept alive by the Ducks. Yosia into Mizinga, over to Kulig, and that's a big time kill there, and that's exactly what the Spartans needed. No, and that was a great example of Oregon's enjoyment of the TerraFlex surface. I know we were talking about it earlier with head coach Matt Ulmer, is that Oregon has moved to this similar surface, Michigan surface, excuse me, that Michigan State now has, and they've enjoyed getting down for loose balls more often. Kulig sending this one in for the Spartans. Now Ofebu, but this one's gonna be a net violation and a point for the Spartans. It's 4-4 here in the set three. Yeah, Oni knew that that had happened as soon as it did happen. Came over to the scores table, kind of shook the head back in play here, but Michigan State, an unforced error, leads to a tie. Susanna Kulig, she's got a service ace on the day. She sends this one across. Played nicely by the Ducks, and a, a cut, or excuse me, it's not Akasha Anderson, that's Aaliyah Moore over on that far outside hitter position. And she sends it home, and it's 5-4 Spartans. Can you take me higher? Aaliyah Moore reaching for that one. Excellent reference by b -Rec there. Once again, Kulig sending this one in for the service error. Not even close, it's 5-5, point for the Ducks. Here comes the point in this game where you certainly have to buckle down both of these squads and their ability to serve nine aces for Oregon, six for Michigan State, tied at five errors apiece. Nini Collier service error. And it comes right back for MSU and it's 6-5 Sparty now. Man, I hate to say it, Kyle, but that felt right on cue. I mean, that's the way it goes, huh? It really did. The announcer jinx, uh, a tale as old as time. Julia Bishop now serving for the Spartans. Corralled nicely by Morris. Sent in by Oabete. Spartans able to get it back across. Colmer now, nice play by Bishop. Now Preston trying to get it in. Collier keeps it alive. Sent in by Ofebu. That one's gonna be deflected out of bounds and a point for the Ducks. Yeah, nice continual pressure for Oregon. I like the way that in Mimi Collier's case, she has such a unique angle of attack, creates side spin off of that ball, makes it difficult for Michigan State to pick that thing up. It's been good. And here's Maya Della Reyes sending this one across. Yosia now trying to get it to Preston. Big time swing, and that's gonna be a big time kill. 7-6 Michigan State. Big time play by Taylor Preston. That's her sixth kill of the night. She's gonna take the serve now for MSU. Got a service ace on the day, sending this one across, Oabete. Now over to Collier. Nice play by Yosia on the dig. Bishop getting it to Staniszewska, and that's a deflection out of bounds, so it'll be a point for Sparty, and it's 8-6 now. Carolina Staniszewska has a couple of errors, but the errors have been limited in the later portion of this game. Three of them came early. She's had four kills and one error since the end of set number one. Nine kills and four errors overall for the sophomore. Julia Bishop keeps this one alive. Yosia now over to Akasha Anderson and a beautiful block that time, but no, it'll be another net violation. So three straight points for Michigan State. Kyle, you've spoken on it and I've loved it every time you've said it, but it hasn't paid off. Michigan State keeps going on these runs. Can they keep distancing themselves? Oh, Abede corrals this one now over to Collier, sending it across, Bishop. Yosia now Staniszewska on the block. She takes it back. Bishop now to the other side for Anderson. Nice save that time by Morris. Spartans have it back. Anderson, that time Collier gets it across to Anderson who sends it way too high out of bounds and it's a point for Oregon. Man, Michigan State would have loved to take advantage of that one. It was the first overpass of the game that we've seen, which is to say that Collier could not keep it on Oregon's side of the net. Anderson had a look at it. That was like, 
I mean, a, 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 a stake up there for a lion, ready to pounce on that one, but couldn't find it to the floor. And now a service ace for Oregon. It's Kristen Klein coming up with her third of the day now, and that'll make it 9-8. And, you know, the stake in the air, that reminded me of that scene from Madagascar where Alex the Lion sees that stake. Because now we'll take a look at the digs leaders, Neilani Yosia, with 14 digs on the night for the Spartans. You see Staniszewska with eight as well, so she's doing a nice job defensively, but nothing doing there. No, and that, that's been a rarity tonight, is that skipping through her hands, the over, or excuse me, the overhand pass has worked very well for Michigan State from the front row, from the back row, it almost doesn't matter, that time it did. Kristen Klein looking for her fifth service ace of the day, but this one's played by Yosia nicely. Back across to the duck side, Morris across Owabete, that one's blocked by the Spartans. Now Collier with an attempt and unable to come up with it as Taylor Holdem. So Mimi Collier ties it back up, or excuse me, gives the Ducks a 10-9 lead here in the third set. Wow, I mean, what an emphatic 30th attack of the night for Mimi Collier. To me, it feels like as we go on here, she's getting stronger, and she's willing this Oregon team to come back in this one. Mimi Collier, nine kills on the night. Only two errors to go along with that five digs, so she's been good on both ends. Now Staniszewska sends this one across. It's kept alive by Klein. Now back over to Glover, and Glover's gonna get the kill. Hold him unable to come up with that one again. It's a two-point lead for the Ducks, and you wonder how long here before the timeout, and there it is for Coach Leah Johnson. And now, eleven nine lead for the Ducks, and wanted to let you guys know that this game is being produced by students here at Michigan State University as part of the Big Ten Network Student U program. As an on-campus experience that is unique to the Big Ten, Student U is part of an educational mission to teach the next generation of sports production professionals. For more information, visit Big The energy and enthusiasm, call your draw. And Mimi Collier has been an absolute pleasure to watch today. 3.95 kills per set coming into this game to go along with 2.2 digs in this one. She has been excellent on both sides of the ball. Now a rally developing, Yosia gets it to Bishop Anderson trying to send it across and a beautiful block in front. That's gonna be Colby Neal with the block. That's gonna be a point for the Spartans actually, excuse me, maybe a net violation there. That uh, was a great look by Colby Neal searching for that first block, hasn't found it yet, been very evasive tonight but she's had a few times where she's been able to do it. Sent across by Yosia. Now flying in the air is Glover, nicely dug out that time. Here's Bishop getting it back across to Anderson and there's the block for Neal, 12-10 Oregon. We're gonna send it over to the third member of our crew, Jack Stager's got a hit for us. Take it away, Jack. Yeah, thanks Kyle. You take a look at this Oregon offense that we've been seeing all day so far today. And take a look at this so far this season. Oregon is 18 and three when recording 40 or more kills in a match. They have 30 right now, but that hitting percentage over 300. I talked about it a little bit before, but over their past five games, that hitting percentage is just going to continue to increase. They're 274 over their past five, but after today, if they can stay over 300, it's only going to increase. Absolutely, thank you for that, Jack. You can see, as you mentioned, they are above 300, and that has boded well for them, as Jack said. Now Akasha is blocked in front once again by Neil. Spartans starting to let this one get away. The Ducks starting to see some momentum here. It's 14-10 in the third set. Yeah, I wanted to continue to touch on what our guy Jack Steger had just mentioned, is that Oregon's hitting 301 at this point. If they hold on that number, that's good for sixth in America. Think about it that way, that's exactly where they have to be as they move on into the remainder of the postseason and push forward to the NCAA tournament. It's a markedly better day than it was against USC. We talked about Ofebu, who was at 077. She today has been their best. She hasn't aired yet. 
Absolutely, and we'll take a look at the attack leaders now in this game for both sides. As Brian touched on, Mimi Collier has been absolutely incredible. Taylor Preston and Kasha Anderson playing well for the Spartans, but Owebede in there as well. Stanishevska, and like you talked about, we haven't really seen much of Ofebu, and that's part of what makes this Ducks team so dangerous. It's their depth. We talked about the Ducks depth versus the Spartans depth coming into this game, and it's certainly why they're in different positions, not only in this matchup, but in the season as a whole. And I wanted to talk about something that you just referenced. The Ducks, you know, they're starting to push into the national tournament conversation. They're ranked 13th um, amongst all teams nationally, and they're three and three in their last six games. They're looking to finish off the sweep now here in this set and, you know, just earn some confidence as they head into the home stretch of their Big Ten schedule. They've got Michigan and Ann Arbor on Saturday before they head back home to play Purdue and then to California to play UCLA to wrap up their schedule. So it'll be interesting to see how they wrap up those last four matches. Yes, and if you think about it this way, Kyle, Michigan becomes a lot more of a potential upset brewing, at least a competition, when you think about the return that's impending of Allison Jacobs. But Oregon should expect Daly McClellan back for that Purdue game. They need that. It would be big to get back the senior defensive specialist. She's added so much to this program over the years. Two great blocks there by Oregon in front. And that ball's coming right near us. Out of bounds and a point for Oregon. 15-10 Ducks now. Maybe one of the more athletic plays I've made in my broadcasting career right there. No, that was electric. I had one a few weeks ago in the, against Washington. That too was the highlight of my career. I'm just glad I didn't drop it there. Yosia sending this one back across for the Spartans. And now she comes up with a big dig there. Collier sending it back and a third one for Yosia. Great job by Bishop to keep it alive. Anderson sends it across now. Brought back up, here's Collier and another dig by Yosia. That's her fourth of this rally. Hold'em sends it over, nicely played by the Ducks. Now Glover tries to send it down. It's blocked in front by the Spartans. Here's Bishop across to Staniszewska. Kept alive by the Ducks. Here's Glover, that one's blocked in front by Cooling, and the Spartans get a point that they desperately need, and it's 15 to 11, Oregon. Oh man, desperation, exactly the term to describe where we're at. 15, 11 now, and the third block of the match. Michigan State has a couple blocking errors additionally. Oregon, nine blocks, no errors. That's a major difference in this one here. Rachel Mizinga now on the serve for Michigan State, trying to send it in is Colby. One's blocked by the Spartans. Now Staniszewska is blocked in front by Glover. A nice play by her on the outside spot. And the Ducks strike right back and take the five point lead back again. Now that was pretty dang good. I mean, as we're looking at the pin there on the right side, it's a head on a head, a solo block opportunity. Glover stays in motion in rhythm and closes that out. Double digit block. Kulig with a powerful hit inside in the middle there. Well defended by the Ducks. Now across to Staniszewska and she comes up with the big kill. Spartans needed that and they cut the lead back down to four here in the third set. Man, this is really something here. I mean, every so often Michigan State has just a rip of an attack. That was one of those. Oregon had closed it well with Ofebu and Collier on that side, but Staniszewska way too strong. And Staniszewska on the serve now, and it's going to be a net violation here and a point for the Spartans there on that block attempt. And so now it's 16-13. They're trying to chip back into it here, Brian. Great patience, I thought, from Taylor Preston, who has only had one error. She's hitting 217. Six kills, one error on 23 swings. Staniszewska sends it across now once again. Sent in for Glover and a big swing and kabam. 17-13, we've seen power coming from her in that outside hitting position all night long. That was absolutely punishing. I mean, come on now. There's no catching up to that one in the backhand for Michigan State. Almost looks like an Alex Ovechkin one-timer the way they get it across, and just hammer it home. Beautiful job that time by the Ducks offensively in system. Now Preston trying to get this one across and Starting to come down now for the Spartans. Another error there for Preston, and it's 18-13 here in the third set. 
No, and that's such a difficulty. Yosia and Preston on that left side were pulled off the net. We've seen it time and time again today. It's hard to score from that angle. Patterson sending it across. Preston will try and send it back over. It's corralled by Patterson. Klein across to Collier, and Collier picks up another kill for the Ducks. Mimi Collier continues, continues to be the impact player in this game. The Ducks up 19-13 now in the third set. It's really starting to you know, feel like this one's getting out of reach here for Michigan State. Never say never, Kyle, but here's what I will say. 34 attacks for Collier. I said 50, not quite there. Not quite as Preston sends this one high. 20 to 13, Oregon as well. Take a look here at two of the Spartans at the top of their game, Susanna Kulig, of course, and Lani Yosia leading the Big Ten in solo blocks and digs individually. Been good defensively for the Spartans. Been their offense that has struggled tonight. Preston, nice little finesse hit there, and the Spartans needed a point. Now they're down by six here. Heavy Duzuma checking back into this one for Yosia. It's gonna be Zuzanna Kulig here, serving for Michigan State, and they really need a run here to get back into this match and this set. This one's played across, nicely blocked in front by Preston, and now an error, and two straight points for Michigan State. It's 20 to 15. Huge, huge, huge block, and Kyle, here's a great, great point that I was just thinking about is both Julia Bishop and Rachel Mizinga credited with 13 assists here today. They've spread the wealth between them both equivalently, and it's been really good. It has worked out when it's worked out. Preston sends this one back down. Nicely played by Oregon. Collier gets this one across and kept alive for just a second. Nothing doing there for MSU. A big point for the Ducks, and they're four points off from coming away with their 20th victory on the season overall. Would make them 12 and five in Big Ten play. We talked about it in the open. They were in fifth place coming into this matchup in the Big Ten. See how the standings shift around after this road trip here in the Mitten State. Duzuma trying to send this one back across. Nicely played by Collier, and now sent over by Morris. Here's Preston, and that one's kept alive by Collier. And the Spartans looked like they were celebrating what they thought was gonna be a point, and it comes back across, and the Ducks now lead by seven here. 22 to 15 in the third set. No, and that just speaks to continuing the point on. One quick thought on Oregon, they went 29 and six a year ago, six losses this year earlier, but they're poised for a big run. Absolutely, and Mimi Collier now with the service error, that's what the Spartans needed. And I said it a couple minutes ago, Brian, it really feels like, or it doesn't feel like, it's just a fact, the Spartans need a big run to get back into this game. No, they do, they certainly do. We'll start here with Julia Bishop. A long serve, played nicely by Patterson. Now sent across by Oabede. Bishop back over to Preston. Preston hits it too high. They're looking for a deflection, but they won't get one. Point Oregon, 23-16 now here in the third set. They're two points away. Yeah, Kyle, my point, as soon as you mentioned that Michigan State's in need of a run, is that, well, gosh dang it, it has to come at the service line. They've really slowed down in that category. Oregon has continued the upward trend, double digit aces. Danishevska, Bishop, Anderson, that's the kill they needed. Hopefully that'll get them going if you're a Spartan fan. 23-17 Ducks. That was nicely done. That ties Akasha Anderson for a game high in kills on the Michigan State side at 10 for Stanishevska, 10 for Anderson. Think about it this way though, Akasha Anderson, 10 kills, 10 errors, 30 attempts, hitting zero. Rough night for Anderson offensively, not what she is completely used to. Usually a prolific player for the Spartans. Staniszewska sends this one high, no deflection there. Point Oregon, and now that'll be match point. Tw 24-17 Oregon. 
They lead 2-0 in sets. Kristen Klein will have the service to try and end it for the Ducks. Staniszewska plays it up, now to Bishop, across to Anderson. Anderson with the kill to keep this match going. And gosh, Kyle, let me say this. Michigan State has heart. They continue to play. They have been on a winning streak. It inevitably is looking like it will come to an end here today, but they continue to press on and move forward and I enjoy seeing that from the green and white. Sent across by Yosia Collier looking to end it and it's kept alive by Preston. Just for a moment as that one falls out of bounds, Collier gets the final point fittingly for the Ducks. They come away with this one 25-18 in the third set, 25-18 in the second set, 25-21 in the first and that makes a three nothing sweep for Oregon, the number 13 team in the country. Starts off their road trip on a high note. Well, Kyle, it's as simple as this. Oregon showed exactly why they're a top 15.